how are you? Today I'm making a fairy garden. A fairy garden is basically a miniature garden that has things like little houses, little ponds, is surrounded by things like flowers. This one I'm showing you is one I previously made that's a bit old so it's time to make a new one. So let's get cracking. Hey! So I'm going in with some gesso. For those of you who aren't familiar with what gesso is, it's essentially a primer. So I'm putting a layer of that down first so that when I go in with paint it will adhere to the pot better. Try to get a sticky label off, um, which proved exceedingly difficult. So in the end I just gave up with it <laughs> and decided to paint over it. Um, in fairness, it worked, so I don't really have a problem with it, you really can't tell. If you're following along at home, don't forget to get some on your baby's pram, then rub it in and make it worse. Then question your life choices and decide, mm, I'm just gonna smear it in some more and then pretend it never happened and continue painting. I did actually clear it off for those of you who were worried about that, so, you know, all good. This is actually a present for my mum's 60th. She's really into her gardening, so I thought something like this would be absolutely perfect for her. I just want to say the reason that the fairy garden I showed you in the beginning looks so bad is because it survived Storm Eunice. It got flipped upside down. So hopefully this one will hold up a bit better than that. As I'm painting, I'm making sure I'm getting into all those tricky little corners, just to make sure that every inch of it is covered. Apart from the inside, I just went in slightly in the inside, but not all the way in. There really wasn't any need because it's going to be covered up by the soil and everything else that's going in there. After several coats of red, it was time to go in with the white spots. I thought this bit was going to be so easy. Just mark out where the white spots are going to go, go in with some acrylic paint, but actually it took a really long time. I don't know what it was that made it so difficult. Perhaps it was trying to stay inside the circles or the, I, I don't know what it was, but it was a lot more time consuming than I expected it to be. I was starting to get a bit frustrated. I just wanted to get on with the rest of the bits that were gonna go inside of it. But nevertheless, I persevered. I painted more and more white spots filled them in with acrylic paint so that they looked nice and bright and stood out clearly against the red. Once that was done, it was time to decorate some of the bits that are gonna be going into the planter. I got a couple of signs, a couple of miniature houses. I'm painting these the same way that I did with the pot. Just a couple of layers of gesso and then going in with Posca paints. Now, five points to you if you can realise what's wrong with this. I was having a look at it after I'd done the spots and I was like, something's not right about this. Something looks really strange. So, should we wait for the penny to drop? So I went in with red this time. Red, the correct colour. After a couple of coats of that, it was time to go in with the details. So I used a gold pen to go over the windows and the door. And then I painted around the rim of the pot as well. Doing it in the right colour this time, I used the same process as before, marking in with Posca pens where I want the white spots to go, and then later, once that's dry, painting over it with acrylic. I didn't film the whole process of this. It's painting white spots. You've seen me do it already. It's fairly straightforward. Also look what I picked up at Hobbycraft, a mushroom. So I'm just painting the stalk white and then underneath the tip of the mushroom, the mushroom tip, that's, no, 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 no. <laughs> um, is there another name for it? I don't want to have to say that again. I'm painting that bit of the mushroom red and again, going in with the white spots once that's dry.
Then I'm going in and making sure I'm just correcting all of the little mistakes I made along the way. So it'd be really cute to do a gold rim around the windows, but the wood made the paint bleed and it looks horrible, dreadful, so, so bad, but I continued with it anyway for some reason. So this is looking pretty rough right now, not the best, but I do go in and fix it later, so no worries. Also that gold roof, oof, don't know what I was thinking. Mud Podge time! Um, excuse me, get out of here you. Seeing as these are gonna go outside, I'm doing several coats of Mod Podge. In reflection, I'm thinking maybe a varnish would have been a better shout, but Mod Podge does hold up well, I think. I found this shell in a charity shop for 50p, absolute bargain so I bought it and took it home and then I painted it I didn't go for spots on this because I thought with the ridges it wasn't gonna look quite right I don't think it would have translated very well so I just did a gradient look instead I then wrote granny's little garden in French on the sign that I'm gonna pop in there I did spell garden wrong I wasn't aware until a later date but I do fix it after all that was done and mod podged and everything, it was time to arrange the garden itself. I bought a bag of compost and then I just started with the houses, placing some flowers in there, getting those sorted first. And then this is where I realised I'd kind of made an error with this house. It's supposed to lie on its back, I think, because otherwise the plant just dangles at an odd angle and I'm realizing this as I'm doing it and I'm thinking I don't reckon that this is gonna work I can't make this look good so unfortunately I did end up losing a house but I put it in my garden instead so not a total loss now I'm just filling up the planter trying to figure out where all of the plants are gonna go I had a bit of a play around with it until it looked right and I was happy with it. I then used stones to make a path and I added a little pond in there too, and I was done. I filmed this footage before I managed to fix the sign, but trust me, I did remedy that spelling mistake. I'm really happy with the outcome. I really, really enjoyed making it. I'm not a gardener, but it was fun to give it a go. My mum really liked it when I gave it to her on her birthday, so all in all, I'm happy with the outcome, and I hope that you guys are too. I hope that you like this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye!